So you think your plants are dying, you're watering them regularly, but they're still wilting. Here's what most gardeners miss. Your vegetables aren't dying, they're speaking to you through specific visual cues that signal exactly when they need water. When your plants droop, there's actually fascinating science happening beneath the surface. Water creates pressure inside plant cells called turga, which keeps them firm and upright. Without enough water, this pressure drops and leaves start to sag like deflating bloom. This isn't just about appearance. Water carries nutrients through your plants like a delivery service. Think of water as both the truck and the highway that nutrients travel on to reach every part of your vegetable plants. And here's what most people overlook. Water is literally the ingredients plants use to make their own food through photosynthesis. So when you see drooping leaves, the plants aren't just thirsty, they're actually starving. But water isn't just about quantity, it's about metering your plants where they are. Visual cues like leaf colour and soil appearance can tell you exactly when to water, preventing both drought stress and drowning. These simple observations connect you directly to your garden's needs, making you a better plant parent without complicated equipment. The beauty is that anyone can learn these signals, creating this amazing feedback loop between you and your vegetables. And get this, reading your plants correctly doesn't just save your harvest, it's actually good for the planet too. Looking at your plants differently helps you use water more efficiently during times when every drop counts. But here's where most gardeners go wrong. They forget that the soil is part of the equation. Sandy soil is like a colander. It water runs right through it, leaving plants thirsty just days after watering. Clay soil, on the other hand, holds onto water like a sponge, potentially suffocating roots if you're not careful. Your specific soil type creates a unique water relationship with your vegetables that generic gardening advice can't address. Understanding this connection between soil and water and plant behavior completely transforms how you'll respond to drooping leaves. The average vegetable plant needs about an inch of water per week to thrive. But the real question is, are you giving your garden what it's desperately trying to tell you it needs? For more, make sure to follow. I'm Tony O'Neill, this is Simplified Gardening, and I will see you in the next one.